some people are born lucky with all the trappings of good life entrusted to them, while some will suffer and suffer until they achieve their desire. That has been the irony of life. That is why some are born rulers, some are born peasants. But in whatever way we look at it, those who work hard and never give up will always attain their art desires. His story is that of grass to grace. It was a case of calamity as his constant illness made a family to live in abject poverty. At the age of six, his parents abandoned him to die. Like the cat with seven lives, he survived. Today is the breadwinner of the family. Ladies and gentlemen, meet our personality. Spice Vision, welcome to the show. Yo, what's up, peeps? I do swagger back again, let the music start. You know, I I would say it's a great honor. It does swagger, mm -hmm. spice vision. That is it. Doctor Rod on the beat, on the beat. Now they get us in the beat. That's it. Papa, do you do it? Papa, a she. Easy, say na ya kwe yero. Saga wa maso. Let's go a little bit personal. Yeah. Uh, on a on a on a on a personal note, mm -hmm. who is spice? Vision of this. Spice Vision and me, when I wear, when I wear this glass, if I remove this glass, <laughs> those are you can see. So all the same, Spice Vision is your brother. He's an artist in Nigeria, and. <laughs> Spice Vision! Pin up your black eye, kill Spice Vision, be on this again! Ginger! Ginger! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Yanni! Just look at Personally, I know how it all started, but for the TV viewers, uh, go back to the TV Vision of those who are gonna represent. Hey, this is all a typical question. Hmm. Will I say I want to go back to primary school again? No, no, not really spies. You see, yeah. I've, I, I, I understand. I've, I've, I understand. I've, you see, I understand. I've, I've been there. Yeah, I've, I've yeah, seen it. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm part of it. Yeah, I know. But for the team viewers, okay, you know, okay, okay. Because, uh, hmm. but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, Become a brand, ah, uh, for real. You understand? So mm -hmm. the, the, the the phenomenon, yeah. uh, just swagger. How did it all started? Um, actually, you know, I've been doing music. I just figured it out when I visit Nigeria the first time, you know. Seeing some artists, even though they, they are Igbo by tribe, they try to sing with Yoruba and try to sing with, in their male language. You now, when I, I look up to where I was coming from, in those states, there is nobody. There, people have started be doing it, but it was not really deep, deep, deep. They, you know, it wasn't that branded. To be like a, a Edo kind of thing, you know, using Edo language to do uh, 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 hip hop, okay. Afrobeat, okay. as you call it, Nigeria contemporary music okay. of this day, you know. I, I, I 
taught it wise, I said, okay, let me just try something like this. Since the voice is there, I can, I can write something about this. I just put things together. Just let me just try it. And it was a blow by when I did the first one. You know, it wasn't really a Doswaga first. I did a collab with Black IQ, which was Puratata, that gave me the limelight. I saw when the people, I saw my people really appreciating it. Even outside where I came from, we are appreciating the music. Puratata become a, a, a household. <laughs> What yeah. kind of music were you playing? Um, you know, my people now know everything that we were just jack of all three, doing reggae, doing hip hop, rap, raga, every kind of songs that was in the making that very period. So I, I can actually say I was doing Nigerian music. There was no one kind sided. You know, I was doing reggae, raga, blues, all of them. Stay on uh, on uh, on uh, on the kind of music you play. Mm. Now go back memory lane. Yeah. You know how does this? Music... You know when every artist when they have this question, when we say. We say we, we we started from churches. Everybody will just say, ah, now church, everybody start from now. But we start. It was a chorister in my church. From there, you know trying to hook up with some local musicians around. You know, I can still remember one right now, Domo Rosai. Then it was a uh, Chris ID that was raining that time with reggae. You know, we started doing reggae. That I did one featuring uh, a Rhymeso. Then we call him Cool Rhymes then. So, you know, I did that one. It was, it was accepted, but since I traveled down here, everybody tried to do a rap music, hip hop, reggae, raga, we were just jack of all trade. Till when God really said, okay, this is what I prepare for you, my son. This is the lane you are. Spice vision of today, yeah. the fame, the women, the cars, the designers. How are you able to cope with all this? Well, I got to cope all those ones. Man, we bless God for everything, everything. Man, failures put God first. All the material things, no joke. God the Spice vision and um, um, somewhere along the line with the Edo Swaga, with Buratata and all that, you changed the way we view the Bene music or the Nigerian music within the African community, especially in Europe. How do you feel? Do you see yourself as someone who is for feed? Um, Laila, <laughs> I 
I'm just starting. I never even reached that point, that peak. I never even reached that. Now I help. My help. God help. I'm just starting. Edo Swaga, Puratata, Edo Dynasty, Darlene, all those songs you have been hearing, those are just the beginning. But I'm keeping going more. Nearly all the European countries. For real? Yeah. Um, uh, can you? You know, briefly tell us some of your shows in some of these countries, the experiences and all that. Mm, first of all, mm, the most enjoyable show ever, enjoyable concert ever, I shall give credit to Canada. At least I was having nothing less than 5,000 people coming out that night at least when that place was jumped there were extra people outside that they hold their ticket because of what the capacity of those the, that hall can take the the security never uh, didn't allow people to come, start coming in when i came out it was i really felt it you know the pain was there so these people really came because of me and they can't they can't feel the phone already uh, I was planning to make another tour at the grace of God this year just to you know try to make up to that people and uh, I also give credit to uh, Russia <laughs> the first time I step to their their airport when I see every everybody white now only two black man I see man but in my I was even thinking are there people here but when it came to that show man I couldn't believe my eyes what I was seeing my kudos to all my fans in Russia. So I will give it to Europe too. Uh, my fans in Italy, they surprised me. Nearly all the cities in Italy have performed. Uh, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Austria, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, Czech Republic. Still on your 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 music, you know. Can you quickly tell us your experience and why you decide to take your music beyond? and go for the palace, bless you. Baba, <laughs> talk He said, I don't see many people who say he said for that one. Actually, as an Edo man, I do Edo Nigerian Afro beat music. If person play for us, I go go go, no be ours. I have to take it to my father, our for blessings. <laughs> And he accepted me and he blessed me more. That is why I said I'll keep doing more. I've never got to my peak. I've never really give, given enough to even say that I'll, I'll fulfill what God said. Oh, I'm gonna do with my people. No. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's just a starting point. With the blessings of the Oba, just be, just put your ears down, listen more. I'm going to provide more for you people. Vision, uh, uh, listening to your music, yeah. you know, you play good music. Talking of inspiration, yeah. how, or well, where, or how did you get your inspiration? Um, inspiration is from God. Inspiration is from God. So if you are talented, inspiration must come. You know, writing songs is not by accident. It's just God that put that thing in you as a talent. He himself know already say now nah, waiting you will take the job for life with that. So getting inspiration out to write songs. I've always said it. I think that song is from God. <laughs> If it's, it was my wish and the standard of education that I had, I won't I'll be able to even put words together. And especially the messages that people feel from my songs, you know, even though I do it in a dual language, you know, if you listen deep down, many people thought maybe I was, I, I grew up with old men, old women. No, it wasn't like that. At first, really, this thing just came. When people talk, I listen. If you want to be a good advocate, you have to listen to people. I listen to proverbs, parables, and I try to make it up. That is that makes me spice vision. I know I mixed it up. I spice it later. I put the vision. Maka. about your music, your early music, yeah. it, 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 it's more or less like Chrysidee type of music. Yeah, so what, really, is the yeah. Re, 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 what is the relationship between you and Chrysidee? Um, Chrysidee was um, a kind of, it was my metal. Chrysidee was my metal. Was, mm, I love his songs, especially when he's trying to do it with a dual language on his reggae feet. And uh, you know, Chrysidee was accepted. <laughs> Spice Vision! Be the black I kill Spice Vision! Be on this again! Ginger! Giant! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Yanni! Oh, Somewhere along the line, you now decide to take the music to Europe. You know, now, when you arrive in Europe for the first time, what were the challenges you encountered, you encountered considering the fact that you come from an English speaking country? So, what uh, were the, the challenges? challenges? Number one, the language barrier. It was the, the language barrier was a very big challenge for us. For you to convert yourself from English to Spanish, even we, especially people that have stayed ten years now, they can't even make a full sentence of that Spanish language. It was very, it's still very difficult. Okay. For you to break through, 
you know, you, you have to go to Spanish clubs, sing there. You know, although music was a universal language on its own. So, but for these people to try to communicate, that was a very big challenge. 